स्टूडेंट्स जून इज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर सो वी लेफ्ट विथ जुलाई ऑगस्ट सेप्टेंबर अक्टूबर नवंबर डिसंबर दैट इज सिक्स मंथ्स लेफ्ट फॉर योर नीट 2026 बट सर द एग्जाम इज इन मे वाई डिसंबर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली वॉट एवर प्लान यू हैव राइट नाउ वॉट एवर कोचिंग यू गोइंग राइट नाउ प्लीज मेक श्योर योर एंटायर सिलेबस इज ओवर by the december month itself because every single topper i spoke till now every single student who has scored more than 600 plus will finish has always finished the syllabus before december so students in this video i'll be telling you what exactly you need to do if you want to complete the syllabus by december what is going to be your monthly plan what is going to be your weekly plan and what is going to be your daily plan in this video right now here students again let me tell you again students if you're new to the video quickly smash the like button if you're new to the channel quickly subscribe also to the channel itself because every single week we have a very informative videos coming up for all of you now students let's get to the video very simple very basic i want all of you to finish the entire december entire syllabus by the december how do you do it students how is it is it really achievable yes it is achievable students now all of you should know In physics, we have twenty-eight chapters. Chemistry, nineteen chapters. Biology, thirty-two chapters. In total, around seventy-nine chapters. If I missed out one or two here and there, pardon me. Okay. Now, if you have these many chapters right now, and if you want to finish the syllabus in six months, in entire six months, what do you need to do? Now, currently, students, your goal is supposed to be thirteen chapters. Thirteen chapters. per month so per month you should be finishing 13 chapters per month and that is roughly around students that is roughly around let's say around 3 to 4 chapters per week so if you finish 3 to 4 chapters per week then only you can catch up to the entire deadline that is december 31st so if you really want to clear neat examination if you really want to become a doctor next year please keep a deadline until december because after december no more new concept has to be learned no more new syllabus no more new chapters december is the end of it now how do you do it students very simple hack here i want all of you to divide the entire december into three segments until december to three segments first segment is july and august i'm not even considering i'm not even considering june because i know some of you are still lazy right so june done july and august i want all of you to start with foundation chapters now for example if you look at our channel right now we have finished the cell chapter cell the unit of life living world biological classification biomolecules is coming up right now next week so all the foundation chapters are been taught to you right now itself so if you are watching those lectures and if you are like binge watching it very good you are on the right track so all the foundation chapters has to be done in chemistry physics also by the end of august done now when we come to september and october students moderate chapters for example plant kingdom animal kingdom yes or no all those chapters can be done here your human reproduction plant reproduction all of these chapters can be done here even ecology also can be finished here in biology now in the case of chemistry there might be something else which i am not aware of obviously right now then we come to november and december here we do very very good topics because by now the whole mood is set the exam pressure is increasing so by november december time you are supposed to look at the very high weighted chapters molecular basis of inheritance entire principles of inheritance and variation right all those high weighted topics has to be thought here plant physiology human physiology everything should be done by here now again students if i'll be teaching human uh, if i'll be teaching plant physiology here somewhere here also please try to finish here itself because what happens uh, please do not keep the entire human physiology till the very end try to finish uh, two three chapters of human physiology here plant physiology one chapter here to make up the balance because because we do not want you to become completely burdened with high weightage topics at the end okay so try to balance it out now students how do you achieve this For example, students, if you look at our channel right now, we have started classes free of cost on YouTube right now. But if you are already part of DNA batch, all of you know DNA batch. In DNA batch right now, in the last one month, I have finished four chapters. I have finished cell the unit of life in six different classes. Cell second cell division done. 
living world done biological classification done plant kingdom half is over already that is from my side now imagine there are two zoology teachers two chemistry teachers and two physics teachers who are also simultaneously teaching so that is the pace going in dna batch right now by the end of december dna batch is over that is first revision is over after that students in dna batch let's say in um, january february march second revision third revision will also be done that is for dna batch students okay now students what you need to do on a weekly basis because all of you we need to start small somewhere weekly basis please dedicate the first three days that is for the first five days in fact monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday five days itself all five days you need to dedicate to watching videos or watching the lectures or going through coaching plus ncrt studying every single day so let's say if you go six hours your study online study or your offline study correspondingly minimum four hours four to six hours of something called as self-study students i have always spoken to a lot of toppers i've spoken to my students who have got a medical seat last year they told me one thing sir whatever you teach in the class is fine but the self-study plays a much more bigger role then you realize so please make sure four to six hours every single day you have self-study every single day it could be ncrd reading it could be question practice it could be anything though those are the hours then should answer now sixth day again pyqs plus revision whatever you have done in this five days right solve every single pyq there it is every single pyq is there so if you're part of dna batch you already know if you're part of dna batch we have given you pyqs i make sure after every single class i make sure you solve pyqs okay then mock test and, st and study topics now every single sunday has to be a mock test whatever you have done in the entire week whatever chapter you have finished in the entire week or the previous week before that please do a test when i say a test i don't mean sitting and solving tick 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 no i mean sitting in a room laptop open do a actual test instead of just randomly solving questions so test will also always make sure that you revise the topics and also you get the feel of examination so do the test every single week then we come to mock students mock is very special mock is very special because there is no limit to mock actually i was speaking to vedant the other day the one of the toppers all in toppers right he told me sir i have lost the count of how many mock paper i gave i spoke to a lot of other students also aishwarya was one of them she also told me sir i have lost the count of mock so if you have not bought a, bought a test series so please buy a test series because test series is a game changer you can reach up to 500 marks just by studying but this 500 to 700 it will only happen because of mock paper will only happen because of question practice otherwise you will remain in 500 itself or below 500 itself so if you do not do mock paper if you do not do question practice this jump will never happen never happen so please make sure you do a mock and if you're part of dna batch already told you you have free mock papers we'll be giving to you right now sure answer now if you want a daily plan so what do i have to do sir daily like 10 o'clock 12 o'clock 2 o'clock what do i need to do you have to watch this video in this video i have mentioned every single day can you see morning routine afternoon routine evening routine everything is mentioned in that video and that video is also available in the tele on our vedantu uh, classes here you can just check in the youtube itself students that's it for today's video i wanted to tell all of you a proper plan what exactly happens right this next month has to be very structured if it is not structured not in a proper order forget it not gonna happen so only if you're serious this video is for you and please share this video to all your friends who are not serious still and let me know in the comment section if this video is useful to you and students let me know in the comment section let me know all of you if you want sir what do i which chapter should i study in in july which chapter should i study in august in september which chapters so if you want a month wise which chapter i'll make it happen i'll upload a short or upload upload a video where i'll be telling you this month you have to study these chapters so if you want that also to happen let me know in the comment section thank you so much students do not forget to like the video if you're new quickly subscribe also and bye bye all of you and see you in the next class